So it has been a little over six months since the Sonic Central event which showed off the new Sonic game, which everybody thinks is called Sonic Frontiers or Sonic Rangers, but I honestly think neither of those are going to happen. Maybe. I don't know. But, long story short, it's been a while since we've heard anything about this game, and Sega is literally telling us nothing. And, yeah, that's pretty much all we know is nothing. Sonic is running through a forest, and it's coming out in 2022 for everything. That's literally all we know. I know a lot of people are like, oh, it's going to be open world and uh, cyberspace and Ghost Girl and this and that and this. It's, uh, we don't know anything, to be honest, because let's be honest here. Sega has not told us anything. All of the information, quote unquote, information we've gotten are from 4chan leaks. Which, yes, I'm not saying that the 4chan leaks could be wrong. I'm saying that it's freaking 4chan, like anybody can make anything up, really. And I know the leaks that date back to January of this year that say, oh, the game is called Sonic Rangers, and it's going to be open world, and it's going to be boost levels, and adventure gameplay, spin dashes, and cosmetics, and all that stuff. That could be true. I'm not saying it isn't, but I'm just saying it's from 4chan. We officially know nothing about this game because Sega hasn't told us anything since that Sonic Central event. What worries me is that this game is coming out next year. We don't know when next year, but it says it's coming out next year. Next year is right around the corner, and Sega has still told us nothing, so I'm thinking, could this game get delayed to 2023, or like at least very late 2022? Like, it could probably be another year before we see this game. Now, I'm not saying that it will be a year before we see anything about the game. Hopefully we'll see something before then, but why hasn't Sega shown us anything? Well, I saw a few people bring up that the Sonic Forces uh, reveal trailer and the first gameplay trailer were around six or seven months apart, which, okay, cool. But the thing is, the Sonic Forces reveal trailer told us way more information than the Sonic Rangers or 2022 reveal trailer told us, and that's, that's my issue. Sega is not showing us anything because I feel like they have nothing to show, which is really, 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 really worrying because I have a feeling this game is going to be released rushed and unfinished. So that just begs the question, when will they show off new stuff? Okay, well, there's one of two things, really. Well, number one, the Game Awards is next week. I'm going to be streaming it here if you're interested. So the Game Awards is next week, and they said they've been working with a developer on a world premiere for two and a half years now. Now, that lines up perfectly with the first announcement trailer of Breath of the Wild 2, but I don't know about that because Nintendo seems to like to do things their own way. I don't think they would reveal their own game at the Game Awards. I feel like they'll reveal it on their own, either at a Nintendo Direct or something, I don't know. Nintendo, it, to me, I feel like Nintendo doesn't really announce big projects at the Game Awards. They did a few years ago, sure, but recently, the only thing we got from them last year, if I remember correctly, was Sephiroth, and that's it. And the year before that, we got absolutely nothing. And the year before that, we got Joker from Persona 5 and Smash. I'm pretty sure that's it. So Nintendo does not like to do big reveals at the Game Awards. But what about Sonic? Now, I'm not sure Sonic has any history with the Game Awards. I'm freaking 100% sure that he's never won a Game of the Year award. But I don't know. Maybe, just maybe, we'll see this game show up here in some form. Maybe we'll see some gameplay and an actual title reveal and an actual freaking release date. Or at least release season, month, like fall 20... I don't know. I want to see something from this game. So, yeah, that's one of the options. The Game Awards will be a perfect time. Everybody's going to be watching it. It's a perfect time to reveal the new stuff. But, what else? Sonic Central event. That's probably the most likely because I feel like the Sonic Central formatting worked with the first one, so the second one, like, it's it's basically a Sonic Nintendo Direct. It works perfectly, especially the first one. It was very short, but it got the information across really, really quickly and conveniently, and it was, it was just fun to watch all the way through. I feel like they should do that again, just so it doesn't drag on the reveal. But, when will the next Sonic Central be? One 4chan leak says that there's going to be one next week. Do I think this is true? Absolutely, 100% positively not, because it's a 4chan leak. But... Let's be honest here, if they were to do another Sonic Central event, it would either be later, like I mean late this month, or next month into the first half of 2022, so they can reveal some stuff about Rangers or Frontiers or whatever the frick you want to call it. Nobody knows what it's called yet. But as far as we know about the game itself, what will be in the game, like what mechanics, what it will bring to the table, what new things will bring, what old things will bring back, we don't know. 
we literally know nothing. The only reason why people are believing these 4chan leaks is because they accurately speculated things, really. If this was a true leak, which I'm pretty sure the first one about Rangers and the cyberspace thing, the whole the leak that started this whole thing is real, because in the trailer you can see like the cyber freaking particles flying off of Sonic and he's in a forest, and it looks like it's going to be an open world game from how open this forest is. And yeah, it's just a forest, I know, but still, it looks like it has potential. And that's why I feel like everybody thinks this 4chan link is correct, because from what we've seen so far about this new game, which is again, absolutely nothing, it looks somewhat, you know, it looks like that, you know? It looks like cyberspace is a thing in this game, but we don't know. We literally don't know if cyberspace is in this game or any shape, form, I don't freaking care. We don't know. Nobody knows for sure, and that's what sucks about being a Sonic fan. We have to wait so freaking long for any information about anything. No matter how much we beg Sega to give us information, they don't give it to us. And I know what Sega is thinking right now. They wanted to release that reveal trailer in order to just shut the fans up. Be like, yes, we're working on a Sonic game now. Please give us three, four years to work on it. I feel like that's what's going to end up happening. I don't think Sonic Rangers or Frontiers is going to come out next year, sadly. I feel like it'll be delayed to 2023. Sonic game delays have not happened that much before, but when they do get delayed, they actually end up really good. When they don't get delayed, it, it they, they're, just not, they're just not good. There's a quote from Shigeru Miyamoto. I feel like it went something like, a, a delayed game is eventually good while a rush game is forever bad. I feel like Sega needs to take this in, 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 into consideration for every single one of their projects because you know Sega likes to rush things. It's not just Sega, but this is about Sonic here, so we're talking about Sega. Think of all the Sonic games that have been rushed. Sonic 06, Sonic freaking uh, Unleashed even. A lot of Sonic games have been rushed. And the games that have been delayed, the only one I can think of off the top of my head in Sonic Boom Fire and Ice, that one was actually pretty good. I know that wasn't handled by Sega, but you get the idea. Delayed games are good. So, it could be good, it could be not Sonic game early next year, or do we want Sega to take their time? Because I feel like they're trying to do both at the same time and it just doesn't work. Sonic fans want Sega to take the time they need with the game, but other Sonic fans want information as soon as possible. Which is uh, nobody is wrong in this situation, but it's just it's just a bad situation altogether because nobody will be able to get what they want at the end of the day because Sega is telling us absolutely nothing. But that's all I have for today's kind of rant video, guys. So let me know what you think about all this in the comment section down below. Do you think Sega should take their time with this game? Do you think they're telling us enough? Do you think this game will be delayed to 2023? And are you excited for this game? I'm excited for it, but to me it's just another Sonic game, and just the thought of another Sonic game is exciting to me. So yeah, that's going to go ahead and end off for today's video, guys. So thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you all later. Goodbye.